Do you have jewelry passed down to you by family members and have no idea what it's worth? In Business Matters, we visit a Maple Grove jewelry store that's hosting an event where people can earn big money by selling old family heirlooms. This was a beautiful herringbone chain. Gems and precious metals are big business. The goal is always to keep these items in circulation. Just ask Kelly Sternow. She's made a living out of it. This has been a fantastic year. We're thriving, really moving forward. One year ago, Sternow opened Croft and Stern, a locally owned and operated jewelry store along Main Street in Maple Grove. Many, many people have come into the studio looking for a small business specifically. They want that family jeweler feel. It's something they maybe used to have. Sternow says there is a good reason for customers seeking out that family feel. That's because they may have family jewelry passed down from generations. Antique and estate pieces. Sternow says her business is one of the only places in the Northwest Metro that sells antique jewelry, defined as pieces that are more than 100 years old. Estate jewelry is also sold here. Not only do we think estate jewelry is super cool, it's absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship is amazing. In fact, they think estate jewelry is so cool, they'd like to talk to anyone who may want to sell such a thing. If you have family heirlooms that maybe are just collecting dust in a closet, you don't really know what to do with it. That's what they're here for. Croft and Cern is hosting an event where buyers will look at people's jewelry and offer money on the spot. This is really set up to promote sustainability and to capture those items, to resell them to other people who would be interested in those heirlooms. Gold, silver, and platinum jewelry, even antique watches, can have significant value. So if you had pocket watches that were still running or still working, that is ideal, but not necessary. A full set of sterling silver silverware, for example, could fetch upwards of $1,000. Absolutely. The goal would be to sell these estate pieces to people who would use them. After all, why buy new when slightly used will do? You get money for them that would be appropriate for the value and then you can rest assured that someone else is actually going to be able to enjoy those pieces. That event hosted by Croft and Stern is September 17th through the 19th. Anyone interested in selling their antique jewelry would need to make an appointment online. We have that link at ccxmedia.org. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.